friends, welcome to Cirrus Read Tech Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about creating class level variables and their scope. Creating a variable inside a class and outside the methods with static keyword is known as class level variables. These are also known as static variables. We can also create variables or methods without static keyword. This I will explain in the upcoming sessions. For now, we will concentrate on creating static variables. Syntax for this is static data type variable name. This is variable declaration. Static data type variable name equals value. This is declaration and initialization. Example for static variable declaration. Static int num1. Example for static variable declaration and initialization. Static string name equals Cirrus Read Tech Tutorials. If we are not assigning any value to these variables, default values will be assigned. In case of local variables, if we are not assigning any value and try to use it, it will give error. Created local variable n and I am trying to print it, it is giving compilation error saying variable n might not have been initialized. These variables can be accessible anywhere inside this class. You can see, I have used num1 variable in print num1 method, and name variable in print name method. Here I am printing num1 variable without assigning value, so it will print default value. Here printing name variable with assigned value so it will print Cirrus Read Tech Tutorials. As of our knowledge, these variables can be accessible by anywhere inside this class. But when we learn few topics, these variables scope will be changed. Let's execute. You can see, printing num1 and num1 value as zero, it is default value. And printing name Cirrus Read Tech Tutorials. Summary, we can create variables in class level with static keyword and we can access them anywhere inside that class. And if we are not assigning any value then it will assign default values.